What's going on guys? Credit Solutionist here from mycreditcall.com. If you are like most people out there right now, you are feeling the aftershocks from the most recent federal rate hikes. They're not playing with these interest rates and these banks are starting to decline credit applications. If you find yourself in that boat, I got a credit card product that you might find useful. We are going to be talking about the first national credit card and we're going to be talking about both the legacy and the First National Bank Visa credit cards. Now, there are two different products here that they are offering to those of you that are a little credit challenged and just kind of need to get on your feet a little bit. Now, before we get started, y'all already know, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, come on in, take off your shoes and let me know what you're drinking. You know I got you. Now, this card comes from First National Credit Card Bank or First National Bank. I don't want you to confuse this name with First National Bank of Omaha. That would be FNBO, two completely different banks. Now, this card is not really a prime credit card, but it is something that you could use to pad your credit report and keep yourself afloat and look credit worthy as time goes on. Now, this company, after I looked them up, they boast of a credit limit that they will give you of anywhere between $350 to $2,500. That already lets us know if you get approved, it's probably not going to be at that $2,500 mark. However, rest assured, you will probably get a guideline increase within six months. As a matter of fact, they promise that if you keep your account in good standing by making your payments on time and staying below your credit limit for six months, you could get a guideline increase. This also tells us that you probably won't have the best credit line when you first apply since they start at about 350. Now, just based on the terms alone, I think you would probably be somewhere in the 500 credit score mark to have this card offered to you in the first place. So let's talk about some of the other perks of this card, because after reading about it, to be honest, y'all, it's a basic credit card. There's not too much to it. You kind of just throw it in your wallet or even in the back of the closet and just let it ride. Now, they say that there are no hidden fees and no penalty APR, which is great. You don't typically see that with the subprime credit card, so that's pretty darn good. If you get a letter from First National Card in the mail, you're gonna get one of these three offers right here. Now let's go ahead and look from the top to the bottom here because typically when there's three different offers, it depends on what your credit worthiness is. So let's take a look at number one, 19.15% APR. Not terrible, but also not the best. So you're gonna have an APR for cash advances of 28.15%. And it's also going to vary based on the rate. Now, a good thing here is you don't have an annual fee. You also have a cash advance fee of an additional $10 or 4% of the amount of each cash advance, whichever is greater. Woo, that's not so good, y'all. But you do have a late fee of up to $25. But you will remember they said that you will not have an APR that adjusts. So typically with credit cards, if you're late, they will raise your interest rate. Offer number two says that we get 29.9 APR, uh, same for cash advances. So, I mean, that's kind of a benefit, even though that interest rate kind of sucks. So we have 2% for each cash advance, and then you have an annual fee of $75. Ooh, but I like this one. They have a $20 annual fee for every authorized user. At first glance, people are gonna be like, what, why are they charging for an authorized user? What this says to me is that this company probably does report that line to the credit bureaus. Me again, I figured now is as good a time as any to ask for your support. I wanna get the Credit Solutionist YouTube channel to 10,000 subscribers this year. Since 2019, I've been letting y'all come in, put your feet on my furniture, and I've been making you drinks. The least you could do is help somebody by telling them about this channel and getting the word out. So share this content, like it, and definitely subscribe if this is your first time here. So if you add your kid, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friend, 
to your account as an authorized user, they are probably going to be able to help out their credit profile. So this looks like it's bad on the surface, but it's really not, y'all. You got to learn to read between the lines here. Now, you're going to have a cash advance fee of 2%, and then same thing with our late penalty of up to $25. Now, let's see here. We're going to be looking at offer number three. 29.9, still pretty much the same, and no changes for your APR for your cash advances. And you have a $49 annual fee and a $20 annual fee for your card uh, authorized user as well. And same thing with your late fees. So this is probably the middle range card. So I'm not too sure why they consider this offer number three, but maybe it just doesn't matter as far as how they're listed here. Now, typically between each one of these offers, because some of the fees are higher than the others for annual fees, it really is going to be based on your credit worthiness from what I can see. So honestly speaking, guys, I can't really say that this looks horrible. And I wouldn't say that if you got it in the mail that you should necessarily apply right away. I would just take it maybe right up to that point that the offer is going to expire and then go ahead and apply because you never know what might happen from now and then, you know, Chase or Bank of America or Wells Fargo might approve you by then. You never know. But if you are on the market and just need to get something in your wallet and on your credit report, this is probably going to be a card that is right for you. Now, before we end this video here, I want to know from you guys in the comments below, which of these cards you think you would actually like, because you're either going to get the Legacy or the First National Bank Visa credit card. Either one looks like it could be okay, to be honest. Now, my credit card wallet is pretty full, so I won't be applying for this. Did you guys know that we now have a membership on this channel? That's right, y'all. If you want the insider look on what I am investing in, along with some of the credit card products that I personally use, be sure to go over and hit the join button on this channel. Who would have ever thought joining me on YouTube would cost less than a carton of eggs? I love it. So listen, y'all, you can also donate to the cash app below and buy your girl a coffee. And I already told y'all I make coffee at home. Okay. So a little bit goes a long way. It's a great way to show your appreciation to the channel and every donation counts over here with the credit solutionist. Now, I truly hope that you got something out of this video and that, you know, if you think this credit card product is right for you, go ahead and apply and let me know how it goes in the comments below. I'll see you guys on the next video. Credit Solutionist out.